here from Arcane and Stellar. I am here with a timeless pick a card reading and we're going to be looking at your person's thoughts versus what they're saying. So what they're saying versus what they're thinking, <laughs> that sort of thing. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and dig right into this. So we have four groups to choose from. We have one, two, three, and four. You may notice underneath the deck we have some fabric. I just wanted to incorporate it to say thank you to Bobby. Bobby went on my wish list and she got me some fabric and another mystery item that's coming, but also this book as well. And that was very sweet. I love quilting. Sewing is a hobby I picked up after my sister passed away and it was very therapeutic for me. It's, it's like a creative endeavor <laughs> for me at like kind of a creative outlet. So I appreciate it. And I just finished a project which you can see in my community post. I did a Halloween table runner. I'd like to make something to give away on the channel by Christmas time. That would be really fun. Uh, I just need to find the right fabrics and some kind of cute little project I can make. Actually, my mom got me a panel with a uh, tarot cards on it. So maybe I'll make a wall hang from that and try to to give it away or something like that, do a giveaway. That'd be really fun. But anyway, incorporate my love of, uh, <laughs> of sewing with my love of tarot. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, I want you to guys to take some time, focus on your groups if you, you know, need that and, you know, go ahead and make your selection. The timestamps will be down below. So thank you for being here and I'll see you in your reading. Hey friends, so if you chose group number one, this is going to be your reading. I can't remember the name of this tarot deck off the top of my head right now, but it should be down in the comments section. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so you've chosen this deck and this piece of fabric. Thank you once again, Bobby, for this sweet gift off my wish list, and I appreciate it a lot. It's such cute fabric. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it yet. So with that being said, we're going to kind of move it over here and get started. So I do want to say, as I'm kind of get, get preparing for this reading, if you do want to have more content for me you can join my youtube channel up above and you will get extra pick of cards that are more exclusive and all that sort of thing badges loyalty badges and stuff like that custom emojis all that fun stuff there are three different tiers if you want to check that out personal readings on etsy so i'm an astrologer, astrologer with like 17 years of experience so if you want natal chart readings and stuff like that synastry I, I do all that stuff plus tarot readings which i've also been doing for quite a long time too so let's see here. Spirit guides and angels and ancestors guide me in this reading for group number one. Let's start drawing to this group. Their person on their mind, their thoughts. What kind of thoughts are they having versus what they're saying? So the thoughts section. Let's talk about the thoughts. This person has kind of what they're hiding, what they're keeping to themselves, what they're not really saying. Ooh, interesting. We have attract and lead. That's a really interesting combo here in terms of the person's thoughts. You may have a person who is very much up in their head. <laughs> they may often imagine, but when the moment comes, I feel like this person, because we're looking at like thoughts versus what they're saying, doing, you know, that sort of thing. What's uh, kind of being done. And to me, it's like somebody who wants to take the lead, but they're not taking it. <laughs> And so it reminds me almost of that person. Yeah, refuge, their thoughts. It's like they keep these thoughts tight, 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 tight inside of them. They don't let it out, okay? We have the Enchanted Fern Grotto card with the refuge. And to, to me, I feel like this person, they're very much reclusive with their thoughts. They don't actually open up to you a whole lot, especially right now. Here I feel like they're really trying to come to terms with how to kind of attract you, lead you towards them. Uh, and again, this can apply to any kind of situation. It doesn't have to be romantic, uh, by the way. I know that some people will come here kind of wondering about other people. This person might be trying to really figure out how they can like take charge of the situation. How can they make something happen? I feel like for a lot of you, this person could be imagining, how can I initiate something? And you know, like, how can I kind of like ask them out or uh, ask for their forgiveness or how can I get them back? Or it's those type of thoughts, you know, like, how can I basically remedy this or bring it somewhere? Yeah. We have the 10 of wands. I 
I do feel like for some of you, this person has a lot of like daydreams in terms of like <laughs> impressing you, like saving you, doing something like that. I do feel like this person might have a little bit of an imagination. We have the queen and the king of wands. That's really interesting because it's like kind of like a perfect pair. And then we have the ten of wands there. So to me, this might be getting over something. Oof, dang it. <clears throat> Hard discussions perhaps here. We also have the Queen of Swords. To me, that's a, you know, a communicative card. And with the Ten of Wands, I, I really do feel like this person thinks about how to maybe overcome something, how to impress you. Guys, I feel like this person, they want to impress you. And they think about it a lot. How could I impress? How could I, you know, do the right thing? Make a good offer, be a good catch, that sort of thing. <laughs> no, regardless of the circumstances. Take a chance, like get lucky. What are this person's thoughts? What's behind the scenes? New beginnings. From chaos becomes calm. So for those of you that are in difficult situations with the person that you're asking about, maybe you're kind of wondering what's on their mind, things haven't been right, something's going on. This person, I feel like in some way they feel trapped because the Ten of Wands is hard to move with. So there may be a little bit of a heaviness surrounding their life or themselves or the connection in some way where they're not kind of wanting to take a move for some reason or another. But I feel like they think about new beginnings. Again, I feel like somehow day saving seems like really pre prevalent here. Like somebody who wants to save the day, be a leader in your eyes, show off, be the winner. <laughs> I really do get that strongly. Taking charge. Oh my God, don't wait for the stars to align. Reach up and arrange them the way that you want. That's that's funny. That's why I like life shuffling because it's so much more fun <laughs> when the cards come out because I feel like it just shows you how much spirit's involved with these readings and all of that. So yeah, it's like take charge. It's like don't wait for the stars. It's not about waiting for the right time. It's like being bold and you know honest and forthright. And I feel like that's what this person really thinks about like how to basically make something happen here, whatever the circumstances. We have divination. That's really interesting. So for some of you, this person may even watch divination about you <laughs> or have consulted something about divination. Maybe they've looked up your, your signs as an example of compatibility. They may be looking at your transits or trying to understand something about you. We also have inspiration as well. I feel like this person may want to inspire you with some sort of knowledge that they have as well. Interesting. You, they could also be thinking about a prediction you've made. For some of you specifically, you may have made a prediction to this person and it's come true. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat, of course, when I start the reading is acting silly. So yeah, that is what I'm picking up uh, initially. A person who wishes to impress, they think about impressing, that sort of thing. I feel like this person, they think about how they can take charge in this situation, how they can kind of initiate something with you, how they can create a new beginning, for especially for those of you. Yeah, we have grieving here. This could be about comforting you. And again, like sometimes I feel like that leading energy may be in terms of like helping you. I do feel like some of it's a little bit fantasy. We have grieving and dreams and making dreams reality as well. Making your dreams reality. Yeah, it's like fixing you. <laughs> it's like that song, uh, Fix You by Coldplay comes to my mind. Uh, that's why I said fix, fix, fix you or help you, <laughs> that sort of thing. So oh, again, if you guys are going through a rough time, this may be somebody who wishes that they could like be more like something more even, like where you would look at them and see. They could also be grieving the connection too, even if they act strong, by the way. So if you guys have fallen out with this person, you're not in good good standing together, there actually could be a sense of like grievance, you know, and, and not feeling good. And they could dream about somehow healing this connection, okay? So, you know, that's going to apply to some of you where you know you come into this reading thinking about somebody who maybe you're not in good contact or you're not in good standing with you know um 
We got the Queen, Love and Prosperity, and the King. So authority and diplomacy. So that's so interesting. Another pair. So this person, I feel like they feel like you're a good pair in some way. Uh, that's like their thought is that ultimately you guys are, you know, rock solid or that you guys could be rock solid in some way. Now, regardless of the connection, I know that we see the king and the queen or the queen, you know, and, and we're going to think automatically it must be romantic. For some of you it may be, but not for all of you. Don't feel like that, you know, negates the possibility of this reading being for you, even if it's not a romantic situation that you're asking about. I feel like this person sees you on a, on, a, on an eye to eye level is and there's a sense of equality and a sense of wanting to give you everything possibly that they could, I do feel. Like this person's a generous person, or they want to be. They want to show generosity. They want to kind of be out there and seen in your eyes. That's what I feel. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to get one more card here. And anything further about the thoughts? We have pyrite, let the money flow in. So this person could be thinking about how to improve finances with you. Uh, this might be about improving finances to be with you. Uh, this might be about imagining themselves as being more prosperous and more worthy of you. As an example, if someone feels like, there are a lot of people who really, see I've never been like that, but there are a lot of people who do feel like their worthiness comes with money or what they have. And if they don't have those things, they can't do certain things. And I've seen it time and time again actually even with my clients, sometimes I'm shocked to see like even guys coming to me and being like, yeah, I can't ask her out though because I'm not ready yet. I need to get a better job. And I'm like, what? What are you waiting for? Someone else is going to snatch that girl right up, <laughs> you know, or, or guy or whatever, you know. But um, it's like get out of your own way. I feel like this person has self-worth issues and like part of their thoughts are all about trying to get out of their way of their own like insecurities. It's like they... I feel like this person almost is like one more hurdle and then I'll do better. And I feel like this may even be a personality trait that the person has. Oh, when this happens, then I'm going to do this. And you may even hear this behavior from someone. Oh, when I have this so-and-so thing, like when I finish this project, then I'm going to work on the next thing or I'm going to do this thing or I'm going to do that. I'm going to move in one year. And then it's like somehow, the one thing I will say about this person, they may get in their own way sometimes in general. And uh, maybe you know this about the person. Maybe you don't quite know this yet, but a, kind of the vibe. <clears throat> okay, and then anything else here in terms of the thoughts before we move on to what they're actually saying, showing? We have childhood memories. So this person could be very nostalgic about the connection, actually. Or it, no matter how long this has been around, they may be very kind of nostalgic or thinking a lot about the past. This person also could want to bring somehow a childhood memory or heal childhood memories with you. If you guys have opened up about your childhood memories, they may be thinking about how they could bring one back. Like perhaps you had a certain toy or a certain experience, they may want to recreate it for you. They may be thinking about that. Um, but to me, this shows like sort of tender innocence. And so I would say that their thoughts, and this also can talk about like, you know, kind of like new beginnings of childhood. Uh, but I feel more so that there's a comfort here that they want to like recreate with you. Okay, so we'll clean this up and we're going to talk about that fly that just flied past me. Stinker. Okay, he was distracting me. Rude. Where is everything? Okay, there we go. <laughs> let's get this, uh, let's go over to the next part of the reading, which we're going to talk about the versus what they're saying. <laughs> Okay. And what about what they're saying? Tell me more about what this person's actually saying or showing. We have adjust and solve. Well, to me, I would say that the person wants to adjust because we have two cards here that talk about the same thing. To find an answer, solution to a problem, to work something out, to untangle a riddle, adjust, to tweak or modify, to reconfigure for better results. So I would want to say that this person is somehow vocally showing evidence of wanting to adjust something, solve something. They may be asking you, they may be trying to get to know you, by the way, for some of you. Like they want to get to know you, they want to get what, 
makes you tick what's kind of going on i feel like this person does want to kind of in in their thoughts too i feel like they they want to know you more uh in some way or to kind of delve in to recreate a past memory or again it may be your yours together but to me i would say that this person what are they saying it looks like right here we have the death card for the death card that might not be very much for some of you card doesn't always indicate too much here we got okay so you've got the king of wands and the queen of swords as well as a death card what are they saying well the death card makes me feel like somehow this person isn't saying a whole lot or they're very subtle about it for some of you we have prosperity well there could be a few things here depending on where you're at in this connection i'm going to kind of give a few little variants here this person could be acting kind of cool they could be especially if there's been a past connection like an ex or something like that I mean, for some of you this person may be acting like they're fixing their own life that they're going for their own thing that sort of vibe but for others of you gosh well i would say that they Shift your money mindset. Okay, I will light and then speak your truth. Well, I think for some of you, this person may be actually saying what they think. And it's not too much or far out of alignment, actually, for some of you. Especially for those of you where there, there are, there may be talks of great change or of future possibilities or how to solve problem solving, that sort of vibe. For others of you, again, like I said, with the death card energy, there may be that fact that you guys aren't really in great contact right now or you're in little to no contact. There's always that possibility. And for those of you, this person may not be saying a whole lot. They may be kind of working on themselves and perhaps they're not really saying much at all, to be honest. Uh, this could be somebody who's working a lot as well. Uh, this person, because prosperity and the beast spirits there, as well as this IO light, which is shift your money mindset. So this person could be very much focused on work, finances, career, that sort of vibe. Uh, you know, getting their act together, getting their life together. They may talk to you about uh, problem solving uh, in, in terms of career, prosperity, and stuff like that. They may be asking you questions or advice, again, too, for those of you that are in contact. I feel like this person wants to be impressive for you in some way is what I would want to say. Like that's one of the biggest things I get right now for you guys is that this person wants to impress you. So again, even if they're like an ex that you're asking about, they may be like trying to be like, oh, I'm cool. <laughs> I will show them <laughs> that kind of vibe. Uh, and maybe they'll want your note, you know, for you to notice them, their, your attention, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's see. Any other final messages here about what they're saying? trauma involved well this person could ask you for advice oh yeah, shoot uh, but we have vulnerability concerns so this person they may open up a bit but this is almost feeling like a person who I wonder if some of you we have childhood memories and speak up so I do wonder if some of you have discussed some sort of traumatic or some sort of childhood memories recently I feel like that's a specific message for some of you to know this is your group for sure uh, <laughs> okay uh, it's interesting because, but we also have this vulnerability concerns and trauma involved. For some of you, I do wonder if this person's told you something that they've never really told anybody or they haven't really told a whole lot of people. And some of you may not even be aware of that, that they don't open up very easily. I also feel like, again, I kind of get the sense that for some of you, this person's not really saying a whole lot. They might actually be really holding back here. So I think the reason why the cards came out in twos like this is because one of you is going, and you'll know this already because you're in the connection. You know this person. You know whether or not they're not talking to you or not, like if they are or not, you know what I mean? So this is sort of like what you already know, and it kind of helps you know that the beginning part of the reading was for you. So for some of you, again, trauma, 
hidden behind bars like they're not talking but they're hurting and then for others of you it may be that they have been speaking up letting you in more to their life to their more uh, innocent parts their more tender parts of themselves and maybe you have been kind of bonding in some way creating a connection so like i said that's going to be kind of the vibe here we have a lot about we have that speak your truth speak up for some of you especially if you're wondering whether somebody has like ulterior motives I don't think so okay I feel like this person is being honest in some way I again that maybe some of you are coming here wondering that uh, yeah that's what I would say so very interesting reading for you guys I really hope that this was a helpful one and let me see maybe I'm just gonna pull a few more cards here we have a little bit more time I'm just gonna see like maybe what to expect from this in the future for the majority of you guys watching. For the majority watching, what can they expect in the future with this person? We have a line. So an alignment of some kind. Let's see. What can they expect in the future with this person? So it says a line to connect deeply, to return to proper course, to live in your truths. Princess of Cups. So I would say contact. Especially for some of you, this person could come back into your life if you haven't. There may be like a resurrection in a way, especially after a period of silence. Uh, this may also be, yeah, the King of Wands coming out again. <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah, I feel like this person may try to initiate something. We also may see deeper into this person as well. They may be aligning with you more. Uh, like I said, some of you, you're going to hear from this person. I really, I feel like most of you are going to hear from this person. Even if you haven't heard from them in a while, at some point in the future, they'll approach you. Okay? That's what I feel. Like they'll have the boldness, they'll have the courage to kind of approach you the way that they want to. So I think that's going to be happening, especially the aligned card. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, lots of love to you guys. And I really hope that this reading was helpful, insightful, and useful for you <laughs> and take care guys and like i said if you want to join my membership that'd be great but if not a comment means the world to me and i'd love it if you leave one down below and let me know what you thought of the reading but take care and i'll see you next time bye bye hello my friends if you chose group number two with the unseen world tarot this is your reading and you've also chosen this fabric so Thank you, Bobby, for this beautiful fabric. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so I can't wait to see what I make with it. Anyway, <laughs> so you guys have a person on your mind. We're going to look. The last group is pretty long. I went into all kinds of things. I think, firstly, I will start with what they're saying. I'm actually going to start with that first. With the other group, I did the opposite. But for you guys, I'm going to start with what they're actually saying. I think that'll be a quicker way to get to the point in terms of like knowing whether you resonate with this reading, if it's for you or it's not for you. Okay? So, and then, I probably should have done that on group one, but I'm not about to go re-record that because I spent 20 minutes and the message is a message. You know what I mean? I don't like to, to, to redo my messages. That's not something I usually practice ever. So... I may delete things, but I won't usually re-record them unless there was an absolute disaster, like it got not recorded or something. But anyway, so for group number one, uh, number two, sorry, the ones that chose this deck here, Spirit Guides, what would you say this person, what are they saying? Affirmation. fear. So for some of you, you may hear that this person has actually affirmed to you certain fears they have about the connection. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I want. Blah, blah, blah. You, I feel like that this person is, must have expressed some sort of fear, uh, to you. Okay. And it, it could be generally actually in regards to your connection possibly as well for some of you, maybe not for all of you. Okay. It could be that they've admitted a certain fear whether it's a fear of heights or something silly or might, not silly because that can be serious, that fear, but do you know what I mean? Like it could be something that's not related to you. What are they saying? Morning star, keep shining even when others have quit. 
This person may like to be known as somebody who is very stubborn, very like persistent. They get what they want, they're a winner, that sort of thing. So I feel like probably this person's displayed or tried to display at least, attempted, <laughs> tough guy vibes, <laughs> okay? Uh, you know what I mean? Like I never give up or these sorts of talks, okay? And let's see, what are they saying? This person also could try to affirm you as well through a fear. That could be another thing that you've heard this person do lately. Uh, try to affirm, uh, you know, and make you feel a little bit more stronger if you're facing a fear. We could have a spirit guide here. Ooh. We got fertility. And dreams. Well, I would want to say that this seems to me like you and this person could have had spiritual discussions of some kind or some sort because we have like very spiritual cards coming through. <laughs> so I wonder if you guys have discussed some sort of spiritual topic in, in the past here or recently. It, uh, this could also show, well, yeah, the person could have said, I dreamt about you recently or something along those lines. I could see as well. We have fertility dreams. We could also talk about feeling guided to do something as well. I do wonder though, if some of you are in a period of no contact, I wonder if some of you, just cause dreams and spirit guide are kind of like not the most physically present cards. So I'm kind of wondering about that for some of you. What are they saying? No versus what they're thinking. What are they saying? Woo. We have release. This person I really do feel like they've kind of spoken to you about something here. Okay, release, sovereignty, and action. Okay. So I feel like here, what we're seeing is that somebody has maybe behaved in a way that where they're affirming some sort of fear that they have. Maybe there's just not a lot of clarity here for this person. And maybe they shared that with you in terms of like not taking any action. I do feel like that's a case for you. I feel like some of you, this person has told you something along the lines of like, I'm not sure if I'm ready or I don't know what I want or at some point. This person also, like I said, could have been talking to you about some sort of fear or trying to help you feel more like confident in yourself. Of course, maybe about taking action and control over your life, releasing past bull crap or whatever. I do feel like that's going to be the case for some of you as well. Okay. So it, it might, yeah, it might resonate a little bit differently. We don't want to sit here and make the readings too specific because too many people watching that just doesn't make sense. So you guys will probably fall into one of those categories. You'll know which one it is. Okay. Um, let's see. What are they saying? We have the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Sharing some sort of anxieties. Possibly some fears, some trepidation. Yeah, this person. Okay, I, I'm just going to stop here. If this is not your reading, if this person hasn't shared something with you in regards to like maybe why they haven't made a move or why they haven't done anything, this you know what is up with this person. They've told you in some way, even if you didn't hear the message the way you wanted to. Okay, because sometimes we might get told something, but we want to hear it a different way. We might focus on one sentence out of the whole theme. Okay, I'm just saying that's the truth. We do that sometimes. So I feel like this person's already kind of told you something and you're aware of it. So it could have been like where they said like, well, I'm not really into commitment and you kind of have brushed that over or something like that. <laughs> Maybe for some of you. Maybe for others of you, you're well aware of it. I have a lot of people who are very aware that come to my channel, but um, I love you guys. But yeah, I feel like they must have expressed something in terms of fear, like I said, okay? Anyway, let's see what they're really thinking though. Yeah, because this reminds me of the type of vibe where it's like somebody's like trying to like 
I don't know, act a certain way, sort of, you know, or, or say something like affirm, like I said, some sort of fear or trepidation or uncertainty or something like that. Okay. So let's see what they're really thinking, like and not saying. Okay. So help us out here, guys. Let's do this thing. Okay. What are they thinking but not saying? What are they really thinking? So we have innovate and define. Interesting. <laughs> so the definition of something, I feel like this person is afraid to define something and they tell you that, but they're thinking about it, <laughs> about defining something or maybe setting some sort of, to clarify themselves, to maybe step in a new direction. Let's see, what are they really thinking? Fun. We have fun, trust, and gift. Okay. And <clears throat> I want to get some more here. What are they really thinking? Not saying. Ooh, that was a good one. Within a year. So this person's looking at something long term. This person's thinking about speaking up here. This person is, <laughs> they, I feel like they want to define the connection or they're thinking about it, like how to define it. Something is, for some of you that are in relationships, what are they really thinking about the possibilities or dreaming about the possibilities of you for the future is what I feel. Oh, illumination. This card got into the wrong deck. Dang it. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. Maybe it was meant to be there. Okay, and... New beginnings. So this is an interesting vibe because look at this. Innovate talks about to invent, to make changes, to launch, to initiate something new. And we also have new beginnings. And within a year, I feel like this person's looking to the future with you. And they see it because look at the trust card. It shows all the cycles of a butterfly. I feel like this person, they look at you and they do see something long term. Or they're thinking toward the future in some way when it comes to you. Okay, I feel like this person, for some of you, especially if you're in a relationship, they're thinking about what to get you. <laughs> and they're not telling you. Maybe they're thinking about Christmas already or, you know, holidays or your birthday or something that they could do. Some of, For some of you, and, and again, this may be very specific, uh, but they may be looking at like wedding rings or engagement rings or that sort of thing for some of you. I really think so, possibly, or at least making some sort of like gift toward you. I feel like... That is what I'm seeing. To let your dream, like to let dreams like become reality, like how to make that happen. What are they really thinking? Oof. Dang it, that was like ugh, such a mess. Sorry about that. We have, ooh, interesting. The Tower and the Emperor came out, as well as the Two of Swords and the Three of Cups. So this could talk about whew, the, I feel like some of you, again, there's like a restoration, perhaps. If, if something's been broken, they may want to take the lead. I do see leadership energy here in their head with the innovate and the define, like defining borders, uh, defining boundaries, what they want. Maybe for some of this person wants you to themselves, not just a fun time, I feel like, in some way. Or they're looking toward the future. So that's one thing I think that's really interesting is this person has very futuristic ideas when it comes to you. It's like they are thinking of you in a long-term way or in a way that's like forward moving. So, okay, as an example, say you're in separation with this person, you're not talking to them, you're not in their life, or they're not in your life. I, this person would be looking at how to come back into your life is what I would see. And it's like, 
wanting to kind of speak up and get some sort of new beginning started, some sort of restoration perhaps. The emperor is a four. It's very stable and there's a tower. So it's like someone who could rebuild what's been broken as an example to restore perhaps friendship, to let bygones be bygones for some of you. Uh, you know what I mean? To define the connection or define their feelings in some way. Now, Again, if, if there hasn't been, and maybe you're just having a good time with this person, you're kind of like, what do they really want out of this connection? I would say that they want something serious. Like they want to, they're looking at it in a way of like hoping that the future has a lot of good beginnings. They're looking at it in an optimistic way and hoping for the best. Of course, the, the tower it could show somebody who can, overcome any obstacles that kind of come forth as well. And that's kind of what I'm getting here in terms of what this person's thinking. They're thinking about speaking up about something though. So I'm going to try to, to discover what that may be. Um, what are they wanting to say? What are they wanting to say? The world the strength card, the empress. I told you, I really feel in the 10 of cups. Look at that. So we have the, <laughs> how to say it, that you're their world, <laughs> that you're everything, that you're special to them, that you are important to them, that they want to be with you through thick and thin. Like this feels almost like somebody who wants to really express very strong feelings for you. They have uh, thoughts about how to prove this to you, how to show it to you, how to, I feel like this person wants new journeys, like they dream to like travel or explore or settle down or this person looks towards the future with you in some way. You know, and it doesn't matter, like I know sometimes I may talk like this and it sounds like I'm talking about something romantic, but even if it's in friendship or something like that, it's like what could we create? I want to be in your life forever. Like, or I want you to be in my life forever. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Like, I want us to always be friends. I want us always to be in each other's lives. I, I'm hoping for that. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I, I thought to grab this deck. I didn't grab it for group number one, but I thought I would for you guys. And there we go. New beginnings twice. Bam. So yeah, again, if you guys are not in contact with this person, they want to restart. If I, uh, and that's what they're thinking about. And for those of you that are in a connection, it's like they want that beginning. And we also have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So again, for some of you, there may be thoughts, thoughts of sexual union. <laughs> Just saying, if it, if it fits, okay? Not all of you are asking about such a connection, so you don't have to take that card as yours. But... For those of you where you know there's something romantic happening here, that you've got that vibe, then you've certainly got that answer, <laughs> okay? Um, and, and maybe this is about defining past just sex as an example. If you guys have just had a physical connection with somebody, right? So maybe de defining it further than that. Uh, do you know what I mean? Because again, like we have the fun, the trust, the gift. It's like moving past fun into something more something that can develop, okay? With this, I mean, because we're literally seeing here in the trust card the development of a butterfly and the stages. So it's like moving to next stages. And I feel like this person, they want something like that with you, okay? And that's what they think about. And maybe they're not expressing this, you know, but that's what's on their mind. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I said this to group number one as well but if you want to join my membership on here on youtube you will get extra content and all kinds of nice stuff here so if you if you're interested go ahead and check that out up above there should be a link somewhere and there's also a button up above tip if you want to you can tip the video or you know do whatever you want but i like comments so that always means a lot and it's free so <laughs> Let me know what you guys thought. Did this resonate? Is it interesting? Is it, what do you think about it? Any other suggestions for topics that you want to see? Let me know. So anyway, I hope that this found you well and that you're doing well. And I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day or night wherever you are. And take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Hello, my friends. So if you've chosen group number three here, this is going to be a reading. So you've chosen this deck and you've chosen as well this fabric. I really like this fabric. It kind of reminds me of like the 60s, 70s. Oh my gosh, I'm just in love. I'm just in love. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to find out. First, I'll start with what they're saying. Okay, uh, because you're going to find more evidence as to whether this is your reading or not. Remember, pick a card readings are very intuitive. Yeah, I have to be intuitive to do these, but more so you have to be intuitive to choose the right message. So <laughs> it's more up to you than me in terms of like what you're choosing when you come on a pick a card reading. So this will help you know whether or not you've, you've chosen the right group. If you find that you get into the message and you're like, there's no way, <laughs> then you probably have chosen the wrong group. Or... Maybe part of the message is for you, but not that part. I don't know. But I, I ideally would like you to use this as a way to see whether you're connecting to the right reading, uh, by the way. Okay, so keep that in mind. I kind of did it opposite with group number one, but for the rest of you, I'm going to be doing it the opposite way. Where I kind of, so then you know right away, so you don't have to wait. So I'm going to cleanse the area. We have a lot of cards. This can apply to different situations. If you want to get more exclusive content, you can do that on... Uh, by joining my channel up above and you'll get ex exclusive pick a cards you'll get custom emojis and badges and stuff like that too so you can check that out above as well as like readings and stuff like that if you want readings with me I do astrology and tarot readings on my Etsy store what are they saying what is this person saying? Kind of, but not, you know. Ooh, discovery period. And we'll be texting you. So, already getting the vibe of somebody who is in discovery period with you. They may be asking you questions. They may be getting to know you. They may be learning about you. They may be spying on you, that sort of thing. But we do have contact here for you guys. So we have the hero font. What are they saying? So to me, what I will tell you is this feels very much, <laughs> boy, what, the Five of Swords? They could be airing some sort of grievances. <laughs> Maybe you guys are connecting on some negative news or, uh, you know, talks here. You could, I mean, talking maybe like as in like advice or something like that or, uh, you know, maybe blowing off steam, that sort of thing. Uh, there could be recently complaints or grievances that you've discussed. Maybe, you know, like broken friendships or uh, broken, you know, promises or problems that you've had in the past. We feel like, honestly, with the hair font, it, it seems to me something very kind of traditional. Like, in, in terms of the speech, uh, that must be going on between the two of you. Like, it, it's kind of, like, fits within the boundaries. It isn't too wild. You know what I mean? It feels very, like, kind of normal, usual, that sort of thing. So, depending on what your connection is, to me, this feels... And it does feel like there is a sense of boundary, though, with the nine of wands. Like, somehow, it's like this person... So, it's like if you work together, maybe they're trying to honor and respect the boundaries of that and keep the connection very, like, kind of proper or something like that, too. But we also have that discovery period and we'll be texting you. So I, I do get the sense of somebody, maybe you're traditionally dating someone or getting to know them. Now, I do want to say that this person could have an apologetic personality. They may say sorry a lot. I don't know why I'm just getting that for some of you. It may be a person who like says sorry over everything or oops, oops, sorry, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, or maybe that's something that you do. I'm not sure. And maybe they say, don't be sorry. Uh, there, I don't know. I'm picking up some kind of vibe there. Uh, let's see here. Now, I, 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 let me grab this one. So what are they saying? Oof. Fluorite, find peace within. We have pyrite, let the money flow in. So some of you may have financial discussions with this person. You may have had financial uh, discussions or work discussions, that sort of thing. We also have the fine piece within. So there could be like uh, trying to alleviate certain worries, fears, problems. Again, if you've opened up about some kind of issue we're having, they may be like the type who wants to... <sighs> Ooh. 
like give you advice or something or vice versa. There could have been something going on there. For some of you, if you're in no contact with this person, it may be that they are kind of focused on work. Maybe they're finding peace within. Maybe they're kind of spying on you, looking at you, but not really talking a whole lot. I would say though that you must have had some sort of text from this person. Okay, because I'm like, what are they saying? It does say will be in future tense. So maybe for some of you, I think you'll hear from this person not too long in the future if you haven't, okay? Uh, I would say that contact should be like somehow established very quickly or already is you're in contact with this person. Okay. Okay, let's see. Anything else here? So yeah, like this doesn't seem like the person who's burying their heart and soul. This does feel like there's somehow boundaries here in this connection or that they're not quite um, slipping into the unknown. It feels very like traditional, like I said, or somehow fitting of the boundaries between the, the two of you in some way. This could be also, yeah, that's just what I'm feeling. I'm just gonna not also it. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it how I see it. Okay. And two final cards kind of to help group number one, or number three, geez, <laughs> number three, understand more about this person. Kind of like this person may get flustered around you a little bit. They have gratitude. What are they saying? Treasure. Authenticity. Well, um, I would say that this person tries to be authentic. With gratitude and treasure, that's really interesting because this person could be saying compliments to you or has said a compliment to you recently or wants to. Uh, there also could be suggestions about places that are a treasure, like going to a certain restaurant or going a certain place. I feel like, like for some, some of you, it may be something like that. Maybe that's how they try to connect to you. Like, oh, I like this restaurant or have you heard of this place or do you like this movie? And again, treasure in the discovery period too. For some of you, it's like they want to know your favorite movie. They want to know your favorite music. They want to get to know you. There's like that sense of discovery and maybe they want you to kind of get to know them, but not too much. <laughs> I feel like they're they're they are a little bit they they are authentic, but I feel like this person does have like a a, a way of like kind of keeping to themselves in some way or not fully saying everything that they that they think. I would want to say that the person. I really do wonder if this person looks on the bright side. I I would think so based off of what I'm seeing. Is, that's my feeling, but I don't know if that's going to resonate with everyone. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing that they're saying. So again, very traditional kind of, like it doesn't feel like this person is like professing love, affection, like, uh, like it's not over the top. This feels kind of like platonic or, or again, maybe it's just kind of the vibe between the two of you right now. Maybe it's just kind of uh, traditional, you know, it, it, you're getting to know each other, that sort of thing. So, and I would say, look at what was turned over. It was a high priestess was actually turned over in the deck. So again, this may be some kind of mysterious, like not everything, maybe you have a hard time reading them. <laughs> okay, so what are they really thinking? Like, what are they not saying to you, but they're thinking, okay? So let's find out. We have nearby. What are they thinking, but not saying? Think about it. <laughs> interesting nearby and think about it Oof. they're thinking about opening up or seeing you more or coming to see you or something like that okay because we have vulnerability concerned I think this per concerns I think this person's a little bit uh, shy in some way it's like they're thinking about opening up a little bit maybe seeing you more often or inviting you over or Something like that. What are they really thinking and not saying? Oh, the Ace of Cups. That's sweet. Mm. Interesting.
May have to get out of your own way with terminated quartz. What are they really thinking? They're not saying. What are they? Stay positive. Interesting. And I may get a few more here, and then I'll then I'll talk about it. So for some of you, this person may be thinking about how to make a peace offering. For some of you, this person may be thinking about stopping by your house, especially if that's something that's a possibility. They may be, uh, especially if they're in the neighborhood or in your area, it's like they are thinking about like, maybe I could just stop by, <laughs> that sort of thing. I feel like this person, if you guys work together, and this is maybe like that where I talked about a more official kind of relationship, uh, I would say actually to think about like how to get closer to you, how how to kind of like do something flirtatious or to make some some sort of something there without causing a ruckus or a stir, especially for those of you if this is a work situation. Uh, I feel like this person has good intentions towards you. Okay, uh, even if this is not romantic, this person, it's like. They actually really have positive fe feelings towards you, I would say, and there's nothing negative here. So if you're, yeah, you're asking about somebody, like maybe you're asking about your boss as an example, or I would say actually this person really has positive feelings towards you. So if they said something hurtful, it, they may even actually consider about it. They may have even thought about it. Like, oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. That kind of came off wrong or rude or something like that. Um, that kind of deal. I feel like that's for some of you. What are they really thinking? Oof. Okay, we'll see what that card is in a moment. Hold on. What are they really thinking? Rescue. Sorry, these cards are not shuffling very good. I'll do it this way. What are they really thinking? Okay, mantra. Okay, interesting. This person's thinking a lot, is what I feel. We have wisdom. This person could be thinking about reaching out, helping, that sort of thing too. This person could also be waiting for, I am loved, I am safe, it says here, I am smart. Hmm. This person might wanna portray to you some sort of wisdom some sort of confidence. This person may be wanting to kind of help you with something or needing your help, that sort of thing. They want to reach out for your help. <sighs> yeah, this is an interest. I'm really wondering what kind of connection this is, you guys, because the other two felt much more clear. I don't know if this is going to be a mixed group where a lot of different people are coming, but I don't get this solid sense of what the connection is based on these cards. Like, I'm not quite certain about what's going on here exactly. But this person, again, there could be a desire to apologize, especially to maybe stop by your house, like I mentioned, or to be closer to you. It may even be like the type of thing where it's like, oh man, we're so close, but we're so far apart. Uh, we have love and friendship. Okay, so for some of you, this is just like love and friendship vibes. It's like they want to extend kindness towards you is what I feel. I'll be honest, I am going to say that I feel like for some of you, unless you know your connection is absolutely romantic, I feel like this may be more of a friendship vibe, uh, you know, type of thing. I, 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 I don't know. Like, I don't know. It may be that some of you are like, I don't know if you're friend zoned or if, if, if you want to be, I don't know, but I do get love and friendship here a lot and like having fun, good times, that sort of thing. I don't feel like that they're, rom I don't feel like most of you are romantic with this person. Maybe that hasn't begun yet or developed yet. If you've dated or something, it be, some of you may be able to, there is that potential though for some of you that this could be, okay? We have the maiden, so spirit proved me wrong and said no. Some of the people here, there is something developing here. Maybe friendship to something more. 
Yeah, seek wisdom and guidance from elders. This person, <laughs> uh, it's interesting about wisdom. This person could be seeking out guidance in this connection or trying to find out the, the guidance in some way. This person could also feel like that they're in a position of guidance or that they need to act from a place of wisdom, that they're trying to make good decisions. This also could be somebody who often gets advice from a, a mom or a dad or someone older than them or like, you know, maybe a superior or something like that as well. And for some of you, this person may have even told a superior about the situation or about you. They may have even opened up about that in some way, like, oh, they're great, that sort of thing. And maybe you're not aware of it. But this person comes to you with good vibes and the thoughts that they have that they're not really sharing. I think that this person may come off kind of stoic or maybe hard to read, but this person actually has a lot of good feelings about you uh, generally. And they like being nearby you. They like being around you. That sort of thing is what I'm getting. Um, this person may want to invite you to go do something as well. For some of you with this uh, a certain joy, peace, fun, they may want to invite you to go do something like take you bowling or to go out on a date or maybe to just get to know each other. If it's like a friendship type of thing, it's like maybe initiating like some sort of like get together or something like that, invite you somewhere, do something like that. But that's kind of the vibe I'm getting in terms of what this person's really thinking right now. And uh, hopefully you found your group and it resonated. But if you didn't, feel free to go ahead and look at some of the other groups maybe. Like I said in the beginning, these are, I wonder why I made that little speech too, because I think that some of you may, maybe maybe some did need to hear that in the beginning so that they got out of it right away. I don't know, in case it wasn't their reading. but. Anyway, I hope that it helped you, and I'm sending you so much love. If you want to join my membership, like I said, that would be great. Uh, and you can do that up above to get some extra content. But otherwise, take care, guys. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What did you think? And yeah, let's go ahead and get started for group number four. See you next time. Hello, my friends. So if you've chosen group number four, this is going to be your reading. So let's just see. I'm cleansing the area. So you've chosen this Titanic deck, the Titanic Tarot, and you've chosen this fabric. Very beautiful. Thank you, Bobby, once again. And let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to begin with what they're saying, okay, so that you guys can get a sense of how this person's kind of expressing themselves towards you, and you'll know whether it's your group or not because I told this to group number three and I'll tell it to you guys as well. You know, this is about your intuition. So pick a card readings rely a lot on your intuition. And so this will help you to know whether you've chosen the right group. <laughs> okay, so spirit guides. Angels and ancestors guide me in this reading for those who chose group number four. What is that person saying, showing to them right now? What are they saying? Detox your life, Shungite. And we've got overcome your fears as well. Let's see what else comes through in terms of what this person is saying. Currently, how are they expressing themselves? We have unplug. Okay, so <laughs> that's interesting. This person may um, be unplugged from your life right now. They may have uh, taken a step back from the connection. There could be silence here for some of you. Okay. We have vision. Interesting. Okay. This person could also be talking to you about how they're detoxing their life, you know, and overcoming fears. Of course, that can be for some of you. This person may be expressing that, uh, you know, that vibe to you, that they've kind of detoxed, that they've gotten rid of things in their life, that they're overcoming their fears, that they have a higher vision. For others of you, I feel like this person may be uh, a little bit disconnected from you right now. Okay. What are they saying? I thought I saw a card turned over, but community, society, and environment. Oops. Sorry. 
We have a line and we have family parenting children. Interesting. So, let's get a little bit more out here and then we're going to talk some more. Okay, so what are they saying? Okay, we got cards falling down today. I'm sorry. The tower. Okay, so. Again, I think there's a confirmation here for a lot of you in terms of like, oof, okay, so they could show a moving on energy. They may have like, again, unplugged from you, uh, kind of moved on. Maybe they seem to be more aligned with other things in their life. Like maybe they're aligning with their community or something like that, or aligning in like with friends or something like that, family, parenting, children, there's also that possibility. Now, for others of you, of course, this could be them discussing, you know, the detox as an example, or it could be about, you know, overcoming fears in regards to community and society as an example, like, you know, kind of trying to become brave. For some of you, this person, maybe they want to kind of work on their intuition and, you know, that sort of thing. But for others of you, though, I, I feel like for most of you, this person may be a little bit acting as if everything's fine or they moved on, that sort of thing. Uh, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. For some of you, this person may have cut you off or um, pulled back and they're just moving on with their life. And that's what they're showing you. I feel like that's probably going to be for a good portion of you. Now, again, for some of you, it may be a little bit more of this person sharing these sorts of ideas with you uh, as an example of maybe th certain things they've been through, you know what I mean? Rebuilding from the tower as an example, looking toward the future, letting bygones be bygones in their life, unplugging from things as well. This person as well, the unplug, and then there's that, that sort of electronic cord, you know, cord going, uh, you know, she's holding it on her side. Maybe this person's deleted their social media or has unplugged from social media or something like that. Uh, maybe they're asking why you've done that for some of you. I don't know. But um, it's interesting because of the community too. I wonder if this person's deleted some sort of social media or it doesn't seem active or it's like they're not really even reaching out to you on there. Maybe they kind of look at you, but they don't talk to you. Because look at the vision. She's got the eye on her on her forehead. So, eh, huh, this is interesting. So, I feel like that's kind of the vibe of what they're saying, <laughs> to be honest. Okay. But let's see what's really going on. That's what we're going to look at now. What they're not saying to you, essentially. What they're really thinking. What's really going on. Okay. So, we're going to pull out. We're going to put the cards back here. And reshuffle. And hopefully get some useful messages for you guys so group number four what's really going on with their person what are their real thoughts you know that they're not really expressing challenge magic. <laughs> Interesting. interesting that we have <laughs> overcome your fears future creativity they really want to say Oof. sorry and create your own luck so <laughs> this is an interesting reading guys so what would they say to you uh, or what are they really thinking sorry like uh, what's really going on behind the scenes well, this person could be, well, there is that purging, okay? Again, we have to destroy, to cleanse, to renew, to eradicate, to transform, and express. Maybe this is not telling you, they would tell you why they've purged you, as an example, or what's going on with them. For some of you, this person, <laughs> we have magic and challenge. Maybe this person's, like, tried to kind of work some sort of magic. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> 
Um, that's a weird message. I can't imagine that's for many of you. Let me see here. We also have Karmic Lessons, Trauma Involves Within a Month. Create your own look, feed your creativity, overcome your fears. I feel like this person perhaps is thinking about their own mistakes, perhaps, especially, because we have Karmic Lessons trauma involved as well within one month it feels like there is something about the future here this could be about expressing something in regards to challenges between the two of you what is going on what are they really thinking we do have about boundaries coming up here it could be that you hurt them if you cut them off okay actually and they may be trying to manifest you back into their life, okay? They may be wondering what you're up to. Okay, yeah, now it's making a little bit more sense to me. Okay, now I'm getting some tarot off here. <clears throat> the judgment card can speak of cycles ending and new ones beginning as well as we have the world and temperance. Wow, all major arcana, what the hell? <laughs> Wow, we have temperance, we have the empress, we have the moon, the judgment, and the world. Wow, that's crazy. So, I feel like this person is really focused on their own creativity, their own growth. I do feel like this person is trying to focus on bringing abundance into their life and purging anything that kind of stops them from this. I feel like this person may be working through some sort of karmic lessons in their life. Maybe they've had a lot of karma challenges recently. Maybe they'd want to tell you about those things. I'm not sure. Uh, I can't quite tell if that person would want to tell you about these things or what. Again, this may be about wanting to understand more about you and what's going on with you as well. We have that looking ahead energy with, within one month as well. So I wonder if this person may be trying to kind of get through some sort of fears in regards to like maybe approaching you or talking to you or something like that. This person could be trying to find a sense of calm in themselves and work past some sort of fears in their life. Um, I do feel like this is a person who really truly wants to kind of create some sort of beginning, but by closing out an old cycle and completing something. I don't know why, but I'm just getting this weird I almost feel like this person wants to complete some sort of project and then approach you I don't know why I'm saying again this is intuitive so it may resonate with some of you let's see here what is this person not expressing exactly oh my god the lilies And the fish and the scythe. This person could be having trouble in general. Uh, it's what I feel. The lilies and the fish and the scythe. There can be a maturity or wisdom. This person may be very much focused on their abundance right now and, and expressing their creativity in some way, perhaps. That is something that's on their mind. This almost feels like this person isn't focused on you right now. And I know that some of you are going to be pissed off to hear that. I know it, and I'm sorry for that. If that hurts your feelings or if it makes you feel bad, I can't help it. I don't feel like this person's too much ruminating on you, to be honest. I feel like this person's got a lot going on in their life. It may be that it overpowers anything that they want to say to you right now. Um, again, this person may have really, truly let go of this connection. If you're asking about somebody you haven't been in contact with, it may be that, yeah, they keep their eye, but they don't really 
I don't know. I can't tell. I'm going to actually ask here because I feel like for most of you, you're not in this person's life or they're not in yours or there's something like that for most of you. Um, let me see. I'm going to do like a kind of a more custom thing here. If you guys are not in contact with this person, I'm going to be asking about that. And for those of you that are in contact with this person and maybe it's someone you know, I'm going to ask a little bit more deeper for that situation. So you're going to get a more customized answer here based on the circumstances. Okay? So, uh, where did I do with it? <laughs> Hold on. I like totally misplaced my, my deck. Are you kidding me? That's weird. I literally, oh, it's right there. Okay. So for those of you that are in a lack of contact with this person, what are their like intentions and thoughts here? If, if for those in the no contact situation, what are their intentions and kind of thoughts here? Interesting magic <laughs> came out once again. Okay. So what are their thoughts and intentions here in regards to them? We got the seven of cups and honestly too many cards that fell down so we're gonna shuffle what are their thoughts and tensions Well, there may be a desire to restart. Maybe this person wants to make a resurgence in your life or they want to start over in some way. For some of you, they may be trying to focus on another connection if that's something that you're aware of. Okay, you would be aware of this already. Okay, uh, I think that this wouldn't be some sort of surprise to you. They may be like kind of focused on a new connection for some of you, but like I said, that would be something that you're aware of. This person's it's two sevens, interesting. Two sevens, the seven of cups and the seven of pentacles. These are very like slow cards. Whereas the fool is just a go and do it kind of card. Just go for it. So I wonder if, if that's something that they're kind of struggling. Do I go or do I stay? Do I go? What do I do? That sort of thing is coming through for me. For you guys, they may be really trying to figure that out. Maybe some of them really want to take a chance to get to know you, to connect to you, to reconnect to you, like I said, especially in this case, because I'm kind of asking about where there's no contact. This person may be thinking about how to reach out to you. We have talk more. So this person may be wanting to kind of talk or discuss more, uh, open up to you more. This person may be manifesting you with magic, like, or literally using magic on you, or again, trying to sort of like a wishful think something as well because it the seven of cups as well can kind of talk about that so maybe it's like they want to hear from you or they want to talk to you that sort of thing okay so for those of you that maybe know this person you're in contact that sort of thing what are their thoughts and feelings here we have sovereignty Secrets involved. Interesting. And what are they thinking, feeling here? Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups. King of Swords. I got the song Building a Mystery from uh, Sarah McLaughlin in my head. Okay. <laughs> what are they thinking and feeling here? Ooh. Generosity. And practice. Why is secrets involved here? What the hell is that? Hold on. <laughs> Why are there secrets here? What's up with this? Oh my God. And I forget the high priestess. Like what? This person's hiding things. They don't even want me to know what's in their mind. This person is difficult. 
This person may have magic around them actually, or very protected, or I don't know, I've never seen this before like this in a reading. I don't even think I've ever seen this in a personal reading. I feel like this person doesn't want to be spied on, or they've got some blocks up, or they don't want to know, or you to know. Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> this is weird. Secrets of all high priestess. What the? I'm like literally WTF over here. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> like, they don't want you to know. Maybe they think that you know. Maybe they know you're like into weird stuff. <laughs> and like they're trying to put up a wall here. Maybe that bothers them. If you're into weird stuff, it might be like, hmm, they're sneaky, they're weird. <laughs> Just saying, okay? Uh, if you're into tarot or something or like astrology or something and you've told them that, they might find it weird or different. Yeah, especially sovereignty. I see these sort of like, to me this card kind of represents like, I don't know, justices. It, it reminds me of and it's sort of, I don't know, that's just the vibe I get off of it intuitively. And I feel like this person, they could be very logical. You could be very different. This person doesn't know what to make of you. But I feel like in a way here, we have generosity and practice. So I, I feel like that they're still open and they want to explore. I do feel like somehow this person, I don't know what all of that was in the beginning. I'm kind of like trying to figure it out because like I feel like this person, it's like they want to talk more. They want to get to know you more uh, perhaps. But this person's secretive for some reason. <laughs> What is going on here with this person? Within one month, okay, patience. So maybe this person's gonna continue to open up over the next month or you're not being heard, interesting. So this may be that this person isn't really biting for some reason. Maybe they are Hmm. You're not being heard. And within one month. What is up with this? You're not being heard stuff. Maybe for some of you, this person's not ready to open up. It's about future. I think that's what it is. It's about maybe future prospects. Like they are going to be opening up to you in the future, but maybe right now they're a little bit hard to open up to or they're not there yet. Maybe they're checking you out, that sort of thing. Or this person also may be quite like hard to read. It's funny because, okay, we have the gift and the lovers here. Okay, so first, first of all, this person may not be well experienced or they're still getting to know you, building that trust. We do have the King of Swords here. And for some reason, I feel like it represents the person, whether they're male or female, it doesn't matter. But it feels like somebody who's kind of tight-lipped, uh, not always the most uh, expressive. I know the King of Swords is one of the best for expressing expressing themselves, but the King is usually a little bit more calmer and not as reactive as the, as the, as the other ones. And so this person may actually be really good at kind of staying tight-lipped and not really. Uh, in some way, you may feel like this person doesn't even care about you at all, to be honest, <laughs> or that they're not even interested, but perhaps they actually are. And maybe you'll see evidence of this over the next month is what I'm thinking here, okay? What an interesting reading. <laughs> I don't know. It's like... I feel like in some way, and maybe that's the vibe you're getting off this person, like they act like they don't care or they act like they're whatever, you know, that sort of thing. I feel like this person wants to give you something uh, or they've thought about some sort of generosity, kindness, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe they feel like they have like a leadership position that they can't be. I mean, maybe that's the deal. Um, but man okay interesting <laughs> interesting reading you guys had the weirdest one <laughs> congratulations <laughs> you guys were stumping me i'm like what the hell is going on here <laughs> okay anyway so i wish you guys nothing but the best i hope that this reading found you well i hope it found you happy thank you again bobby for your beautiful gift if you guys ever want to get me a gift that's always my wish list if you wanted to go on there i have two of them but you don't have to feel obligated to me a gift is just leaving me a comment and letting me know you like the video that means a lot to me okay anyway if you want to join like i said the membership section up above and get some extra content you're welcome to do that but otherwise i hope you subscribe and come back for more in the future lots of love okay bye bye